see what we get. Vel's heart inbound. Check it out. Oh, freak. Here comes the Vel's heart. Nope. Damn. Unlucky. I just got done with two hours and 15 minutes of hunting, which is basically my entire energy pool from 25 to zero. And this is what we got. Uh, I got my first ever conch stone proc and I got double. So that was pretty good. Uh, that's, that's, that's a 20 mil gather. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude, almost 10K wolf meat in two hours and 15 minutes. That's a, that's a pretty good amount. All right, so we just got done with two hours of hunting. Uh, I use my villa buff as like my my timer because when I'm when I'm hunting dude I am fucking lounging so this is what we got we got 9.1k meat 3.4k blood a ton of hards and a ton of sharps like this is fucking absurd uh, and then these uh, stuff other wolf heads that don't really have any value um I got 32 energy left so two hours takes 260 energy I've been fucking slacking super hard I've been AFK every like I guess like every 15 minutes I get up and go do something but come back or whatever so um, I could be a way more efficient, but honestly, dudes, this is so nice. Uh, so much money just in the hards and sharps and so much meat for uh, cooking and turnings. It's pretty great. Hey, it's about that time of the video where I beg for subscribes and for likes and for every, ah, follow my shit. No. Okay. So guys, if you like the video and you like the information that was in it, please let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like the video. If it was useful, helpful, let me know if you guys need anything else. We can talk about some more money making stuff, whatever it is, dudes, just got to let me know. Okay. Make sure to subscribe, get connected, follow twitch.tv slash stratified down in the description. I go live pretty often over there. I want you to come in. Hey, say, hey, how's it going? Watch me gun down some wolves while I hunt. Maybe do some life skilling. Maybe, maybe find the secret to the to the game and become the best i don't know dudes another two hours done hunting 9.3k meat like just about out of my energy pool i didn't afk nearly as much this time uh eight sharps four hards i guess like the last two hours that i did this i got fucking boosted i got nothing this hour a lot of black gem pranks but that's you know whatever 9.3k meat 3.4k blood and i still have to figure out if there's anything to do with these hides i honestly don't know Another two hours done of hunting, by far the laziest I've ever been for this. I was 7k meat, just actually AFK the whole time, not even trolling. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Got it made up with it, uh, with a lot of hards and sharps, but this one, uh, this barely counts. I, <laughs> I was like, not paying attention for this whole time, and it's still really solid money, so I love hunting. It's so, it's, it's so fucking awesome. I see the Manos Cook Clothes up here currently at no durability, right? Plus 13. So what I'm doing with these is I'm going to use these, try to get this to Tet, and I'm going to try to uh, use the Manos Cook Clothes for my Imperial Turn-Ins to give me a little bit more money every single day for my Turn-Ins. Uh, if I get that to Tet uh, with my current Mastery, I'm going to get an extra 40 mil every single day from Turn-Ins. So it'll take about, uh, you know, if it costs me 4 bill to make these uh, Tet Manos uh, cooking clothes it'll be about 100 days of you know constantly turning these things in to get my money back but that's not accounting for the fact that i could be making more money because i'm getting levels which is more mastery or getting to guru which is like uh, the guru boxes which makes me even more money etc 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 so absolute maximum takes 100 days to recoup all the money and most likely be a much much less than that uh, and i found a little interesting thing here little interesting trick that i'm sure is probably going to be ruined after this so do it right away i guess um but so there's manless cooking clothes that sit on the marketplace right they're sitting at whoopsies they're sitting at absolute min list okay because you get these from imperials so what you can do is you can just buy these manless cook clothes uh, use your loyalty buy one or two artisans and you get full durability because it's you know 10 durability times four because of the artisan so 40 durability for 43 mil uh memfrag prices are currently you know sitting around 1.5 mil each so uh i think you're saving like 15 or so mil so it's not too bad uh sorry for the people who've been doing this apologize in advance but i figured people gotta know if no one knows you know i'm, I'm, I'm kind of So we're back at this again. Hopefully we get 
pretty lucky with this. All right, nice. This is going to cost a lot, and I'm okay with this costing a lot. Perfect. Wasn't too bad. Now we got to go from hopefully we get Pry, do and try real easy, and hopefully we can get Tat. It'd be sick if we could. I doubt it, though. That's one, two, and three. It ramps up. Okay. Failed Pry twice. Here comes Duo one tap. Oh. Ouch. This is going to be such a waste of money, yeah. Oh wait, try. Okay, do we go for 10? Uh, do I go? 15% chance, all right. Here we go, come on, come on. One tap, come on, come on, one tap. Damn. No, failed. No, I'll just keep it at try. like fucking eight times holy shit here we go this is gonna go better this time i got try okay we're saved we're saved we're saved we got a little bit screwed on these just a little bit uh it wasn't too bad i'm not upset about it uh because we did get the try which is what matters probably spent around a bill uh including you know the cost of you know the conch stones that we used and all that stuff um and you know the uh the money that we spent to repair and or buy the black gems so uh you know we, it cost a decent amount of money i think we got them for a little bit cheaper than we would if we would have bought them but uh we'll be getting a decent amount of return on investment from these uh if we uh you know you know eventually get these to tech uh, but as of right now they'll still help out a little bit probably close to 25 mil uh extra every single day which is going to be pretty nice i'd also like to mention for people who are interested in making uh, cooking or alchemy manos clothes to increase their value from their imperials every day, I do want to preface that if you're not making almost all of your money from life skilling, uh, and if you're not planning on doing imperial turns every single day that you're playing the game, you know, like if you only do imperials like two times a week or whatever, uh, I do not recommend it. Uh, and if you still want to get more involved and maybe want to do your imperials a little bit more, and make a little bit more money from them i recommend that you do the blue grade cooking clothes uh, and probably get them to tet it's pretty easy to enhance these yourself i believe it's one conch stone across the board for enhancement for enhancing uh for example um from pry to duo or duo to try uh, for manos it increases the amount of conch stones you need to actually enhance that or make that enhance so if it fails you waste like 20 30 mil sometimes so um just so you guys are aware, this is a really good option for people who grind as well and don't only life skill for their money. Um, and you can buy the uh, the base clothes on the market. I mean, they're literally just sitting here for dirt cheap and you can just four mil for 10 durability is pretty good. So I uh, recommend that for people who are not planning on long-term life skilling and or uh, you know, don't do a ton of life skilling for all your money. So a lot of you guys are really curious as to what I'm doing uh, for my Imperials. And since I've switched to cooking instead of Imperial Alchemy like I was doing, uh, I figured I'd kind of give you guys a little bit of information. But just so you guys know, I had talked about this in my previous video, uh, daily routine, but I was doing Imperial Alchemy every single day. And for people who are, uh, you know, inclined to do alchemy over cooking or for whatever reason you want to do imperial alchemy uh i'll quick tell you what i do or what i used to do uh, i'd make uh, elixirs of wings which would require purified water uh, troll blood silver azalea and then uh ash sap uh, and that was about 27 of them to make one master box and it was pretty easy and there is also something that's pretty interesting about Imperial Alchemy that the reason the main reason why I was doing it uh, is because you can turn these Imperial Alchemy seeds into scorched shards which can be used to make Manos accessories uh, and you the main cost for Manos accessories is the BMCs but you use 10 scorched shards or 1000 Imperial uh, Alchemy seals and uh, basically that will give you the or cut out the most expensive part of making the Manos accessory. So you can just make the Manos accessory and sell it for pretty nice profit. Um, it's it's actually really, really nice. And a lot of times that's where a, a lot of my money comes from. Uh, it's just like random influxes of cash through, you know, 
uh, making a mana accessory and selling it and various other things that uh, I don't really want to talk about at the moment because <laughs> it's going to get ruined if I do. But yeah, so that's that's something that's pretty interesting. Uh, it does have its value. Do not sell these scorch shards. Uh, and if you've got a ton of these Imperial Alchemy uh, shards, you know, you can use these to, um, you know, make mana accessories for a little bit cheap. I think it's like 100 mil profit if you, if you sell them at base, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not doing that much anymore though because I have the Manos cooking clothes to try, which means when I turn in Imperial cooking uh, boxes, I'm getting a little bit more money uh, than I would be if I was doing Imperial Alchemy. So that's what I'm gonna be switching over to is cooking. And what I'm doing with uh, Imperial cooking is basically using the wolf meat that I get from hunting feather wolves. Uh, I get about 4.5K to 5K an hour. Uh, and then uh, using that to make lean meat salad and uh, you need 18 lean meat salad to go into a master master imperial box. But what I do is I use the blue procs, um, the one you know the little rare procs that you get from making the lean meat salad. I use those because uh, it's a three to one ratio. I believe I actually have not I'm not 100% sure on that. I believe it's three to one. Someone correct me down in the comments if that is incorrect. But I'll, all I know is that you use a lot less of the blues to make the imperial boxes. And since almost all the recipes that I do uh, only need one lean meat salad, uh, the blue proc has no extra value for me. Because uh, usually what you do is use a blue proc to kind of cut down on how many actual uh, pieces or dishes of that particular thing that you need. So like, um, for example, the uh, grilled sausage or the smoked sausage, uh, you need grilled sausage, you need two of them for Medaya meals. And uh, with the blue, you only have to use one. So that's the kind of value you get. But for the meals that I cook, uh, you only need one lean meat salad. So I just use these because they don't have any extra value for the Imperial boxes. And I get to use all these for the meals. So pretty nice. I do the same thing with the dark pudding. I use a bunch, any of the procs that I get for the yellow, the rare proc of the uh, dark pudding goes in the Imperial boxes. And these are kind of a little bit more annoying uh, because you need oatmeal, which is milk and you need sheep blood. So I don't really do these that much. I mostly do the um, the lean meat salad because you only need like a, you know, meat, pepper and stuff like that. And right now I am uh, I'm farming pepper and farming a lot of it. So uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it kind of takes a couple, I think it's like uh, only one harvest one time and I get like two days worth of Imperials. It's really great. So um, pretty nice. That's what I'm doing for my money in terms of like, you know, uh, turning in imperial boxes and i am also pushing for guru cooking uh i'm doing that as much as i can i work from home as many of you guys know so i get to cook like all day so i'm gonna hopefully get this cooking up pretty quick here uh while i'm at work and stuff but uh takes a lot of time takes a takes just a just a ton of tedious time so uh that's what we're working on once we get to guru uh, cooking, we're going to turn in uh, Medaya meals and Balanos meals for Guru boxes and profits just going to keep rolling in. So I'm really excited for that. A lot of you guys are curious about my hunting and how I go ahead and do it. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty simple. Here's my gear that I use. Uh, Tet Manos clothes, obviously pretty nice. And then we go over here. Uh, we've got our uh, 870 mastery. Uh, we have 870 mastery because we have seafood cron on it at the moment we usually use uh aromatic pan fried oyster for attack speed so we can shoot the wolves faster uh but i was just cooking so i can't like get rid of that buff you know what i'm saying so uh we have that uh we have our elixirs uh party elixir of flowing time spirit perfume elixir of flowing wind we got our exp buff that we pop for book of life we don't use any drafts because we're using these elixirs and it's very simple uh, I basically just walk around, up all my elixirs, basically just walk around, make sure our pets are out too, that's a, that's a crucial part. It's very, very important to not be pulling these final here. Uh, these are a huge colossal waste of time, they count the same as a, a normal feather wolf, so I just always grab these guys over here like this, kind of kite back a bit. I pull multiple at a time because with uh, my right buffs going, I kind of kill things pretty quickly. You see, uh, with the Spirit Perfume, we got five crits. We, we, we crit things a lot. But also make sure you want to have health pots as well. It's pretty importante. You see just like how much stuff we get from hunting. It's just a, it's just a crazy amount. And I basically just kill all of the people uh, 
down here, right? All the, all the, I basically just kill all the feather wolves that are down here and I uh, wait until I have 100% BSR and then go up to the top, pull every single one up there and uh, go ahead and use my BSR shot to do an AOE shot. Um, but yeah, like it's really, I, I, there's rotations that you can do and there's ways to optimize it, but I personally don't feel like optimizing this, uh, more than I already am. Uh, I just do hunting cause I enjoy it. And, uh, if I make it too sweaty, I'll probably stop enjoying it. I really like the fact that I can just kick back, relax, and really not pay attention and just make decent money and just enjoy my time. You know, that's, that's one of the reasons that I really like life skilling and especially Hunter is that I can just... There's no stress, you know, I could optimize it. I could get more uh, more meat, more gathers an hour, more more kills an hour, uh, but I just don't, I just don't see the necessary need uh, because in my opinion, I'd rather hunt for, you know, multiple hours, you know, uh, three, four hours a day sometimes rather than hunting for two hours and being burnt out on it because I'm sweating super hard over it. So yeah, we're just finishing all these guys up. And then when I finally have 100% BSR, I will show you guys how I group the mobs up at the top level to get a nice chunky uh, AOE shot off. So we've got 100% BSR. This is how we pull this. I go off to the side here. Boom, bam, bop. Reload. Hit the roll to the side. Roll to the side again. Boom. Up here. Boom. Okay, as I'm, I reload again. As I'm reloading, I walk over here unlock my BSR and I kite and taunt these guys and I roll back and forth right here just because this is fun I really like doing this and then you go boom you fuck them up and it's the probably the most satisfying thing ever so uh real huge fan of that and uh now we just sit here and gather forever but that's how you do that pull uh I mean there's probably a way to do it better but I just like doing it that way because it's really fun <laughs> rolling through the mobs back and forth and just shooting them once with a big shot is pretty cool and that is all i've got for you guys today thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it make sure to leave a comment down below on what you thought of the video if you have any questions let me know down there make sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like it it lets me know that i'm doing the right stuff over here and now we begin our grind to getting our C3 Kafras and our TED accessories back. So I'm going to be trying to do my best to make as much money as I can. Hopefully uh, aiming for uh, a TED accessory every two weeks. I think that's pretty feasible, uh, but I don't want to be playing the game nine hours a day and burn out or anything like that. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take it at our own pace, go for a TED accessory, uh, you know, every two weeks and uh, go from there guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.